There's been a number of exhibitions about Ichi uh, recently. One at Guggenheim, for example, and another one at UC Irvine. How does your exhibition differ from those other exhibitions, and how, how does your exhibition take the subject further? Um, the exploration of the subject. I appreciate that question. I would like to say that I'm well aware of both of those shows, and it's really hard to curate around YouTube, so yeah. my hat's off to both attempts. Um, I can I understand what they weren't capable of doing by sort of pointing in another direction. Mm -hmm. I think that the Guggenheim show, for me, um, you know, just to be frank, um, sort of mistakenly thought about video art on YouTube as video art as it had been. And so they did this programming, which was choose the 25 best, you know, most beautiful, most art-like, most whatever it was, the criteria they had, um, really renowned curators make that decision. What we found were beautiful pieces of video art that happened to be on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I think this show thinks about um, video and art on YouTube, entering through the vernacular of the kinds of things that regular people make, as well as the insanely beautiful things that trained artists make. And it's not, it doesn't value one over the other person in conversation with each other. So the, 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 the Guggenheim show didn't have those kinds of conversations in a way that seemed um, not true to what happened on YouTube. Yeah. I think at Irvine, um, uh, Martha Gieber um, entered in this other way, which was to think, you know, video art could be everywhere on YouTube. Um, and she looked really hard for it um, with a set of guidelines that were in her own head and map of what counts as art. It was a much more expansive um, set of deliberations and she gave thousands of videos to see. It was a really generous offering. I don't think you ask what is art quite so much in the show. And maybe you can expand on that. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple things I think that are also different um, as opposed to a sort of discovery or extraction model that then aggregates and presents, which I think both those shows are premised on. Yeah. Ours, ours invites work that may or may not already exist on or off YouTube, and then asks to think of it as a kind of performative piece that's presented um, that's one difference. The second, I think, more significant one is that people in the physical space here, as well as you guys out in the virtual realm, can contribute to the show. And so the show evolves, yes, with the gallery as one node or one point of interaction and presentation, but always in relationship to other nodes via YouTube. And so I think that those other two shows, as I understand them, I didn't have the privilege of experiencing them, are a little more conventional in terms of presenting an artwork in an art space rather than understanding the interplay of production, presentation, authorship audience. And I think that our show um, is attempting to hold that, that sort of sweet spot in a very productive, open, playful tension mm -hmm. of, again, context authorship, production, presentation. Mm 